Now, from the Desert's News Leader, KESQ News Channel 3 HD, live at 5. Hello, I'm John White. And I'm Tamara DeMonte. Riverside County Sheriff's detectives arrest a man that they believe got away with a triple murder for over 28 years. News Channel 3 first told you about the arrest of Jimmy Hughes on KESQ.com on Saturday afternoon. News Channel 3's Nathan Baca broke the story for us. Right now, he is with our live mobile newsroom in Rancho Mirage, where the 1981 murders actually happened. It's a story you'll only see here on News Channel 3. Nathan. Tamara, on July 1st, 1981, Fred Alvarez, his girlfriend Patty Castro, and friend Ralph Boger were shot to death here on Bob Hope, Bob Hope Drive and Ginger Rogers here in Rancho Mirage Drive. Now, this was uh, there was a house here that has since been bulldozed. The cold case is known as the Octopus Murders because this murder plot has tentacles that go to our police agencies, our Indian tribes, and our political leaders. It was a far different scene here in 1981. Three people were executed near this Rancho Mirage home. Detectives now believe it was a contract killing and that this man, Jimmy Hughes, is the hitman. Hughes was arrested at Miami Airport Saturday morning. He was on his way to Honduras, where he now runs a Christian missionary group. Nearly 30 years ago, Hughes was security chief for the Camazon Band of Indians. Tribal Vice Chairman Fred Alvarez was going to blow the whistle on weapons manufacturing deals between the tribe and defense contractors. The daughter of murder victim Ralph Boger confronted Hughes last year with a hidden camera and demanded answers. You were the bad man in our father's murder. Like to talk to you about that. Got no food to say about that. Can't, 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 can't say nothing back. about that. I, I want to forget about a past. Thank it you. is ever so awful and scary in my past. I don't live there anymore. I don't got nothing to do with that. Screw the FBI. Screw the police. Screw everybody else in my past. I don't care about my past. I, there's, uh, the world I live in is screwed up. Hughes even admitted to shooting at least six people in the head as a professional hitman on the website of the Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship. Your parents got killed. A uh, mafia hit. Okay, that's life. That's what happened. Your parents were involved in some very dangerous things. Your dads, okay? That's the only thing I can tell you. They were involved. Now, we've just heard that Jimmy Hughes did not waive his right to an extradition hearing in court today. That means he will be in Miami for a few more weeks before he is sent back here to Riverside County to stand trial for three murders. Now, coming up new at 6, you'll hear more of that hidden camera recording. Just how deep does this murder plot go? You'll hear what the accused murderer has to say. Reporting live, Nathan Baca, News Channel 3 HD, Rancho Mirage. All right, we look forward to the re that report tonight at 6 o'clock. Thank you very much, Nathan. Now, from the Desert's News Leader, KESQ News Channel 3 HD at 6. Hello, I'm Tamara DeMonte. And I'm John White. Riverside County Sheriff's Detectives say they've now arrested a man they believe got away with a triple murder for over 28 years. News Channel 3 first showed you hidden camera video of the murder suspect on Live at 5. News Channel 3's Nathan Baca broke this story, and he's with our live mobile newsroom in Rancho Mirage, where these murders happened back in 1981. It's a story you'll only see right here on News Channel 3. Nathan. John, this cold case is known as the Octopus Murders because it has this murder plot has tentacles that reach into our local police agencies, Indian tribes, and political leaders. Now, on July 1st, 1981, Fred Alvarez, his girlfriend Patty Castro, and friend Ralph Boger were shot to death here on Bob Hope Drive in Rancho Mirage. Now, there was a house here that has since been bulldozed, but now detectives believe they are finally uncovering the truth. Riverside County Sheriff's detectives believe 52-year-old Jimmy Hughes is a hitman responsible for the 1981 murder of three people in this Rancho Mirage home. Hughes was arrested at Miami Airport Saturday morning. He was on his way to Honduras, where he now runs a Christian missionary group. The daughter of murder victim Ralph Boger confronted Hughes last year with a hidden camera and demanded answers. I wake up in the morning with a clear conscience. So let me tell you something about my past. My past is dead. I don't care about my past. My past is my past. It's none of your business. It's none of your business. It's nobody's business. I don't care who died. I don't care who got killed. I, I, I was trained in the military. I killed people all over the world, right or wrong, because the government ordered me to. Murder victim and tribal vice chairman Fred Alvarez was going to blow the whistle on weapons manufacturing deals between the tribe and defense contractors. Those weapons deals later turned into database software development that turned into a major spy scandal known as Promise with national security impacts to this day. 
Your dad and I were friends. I knew your dad, but he touched somebody. He touched. They gave an order, and that was what happened to you. It's a, it's a lot bigger than just the murder of this guy or the murder of that guy. I know it guy. is. It's, it's, I know exactly how it's big a, it is. It's, it's a I big... Know. You're, you're talking I got the Saudi royal political family. people. I Those political people include a who's who of past Republican administrations. Documents obtained by News Channel 3 show many of the weapons to be made on tribal land were meant for the Iran-Contra arms deals. I was investigated by the FBI. I was indoctrinated by okay, the... I, I was I messed that. around with them, so I don't care. I'll I can't it. tell you anything that the police don't already know. Now, we have learned that Jimmy Hughes did not waive his right to an extradition hearing. That means he will be staying in Miami for the next few weeks before Riverside County Sheriff's detectives bring him back to Riverside County to stand trial for three murders. Reporting live, Nathan Bakken, News Channel 3 HD, Rancho Mirage. And Nathan, you've been on this story for a long time now. Right now, we have this one arrest. Then when it talks about there's other people involved, uh, any word that it may get into that now that they've arrested this one person. The detectives have not given their case up yet. There may be more arrests coming down the road, but they are very happy that they have caught Jimmy Hughes, a person that they believe have, has basically been hiding out in the open for 28 years. Okay, a story that, uh, well, you first told us about Jimmy Hughes. How long ago now? It's been a long time, Several John. Several months, okay. Nathan Bach alive in Rancho Mirage. Thank you, Nathan.